Hi everyone, it's me Darlene in my car again because I needed to go out and I thought I'd take my camera the end of the month. Thought I'd try to pump a couple of videos out for the end of the month and also I have a little story to tell you. Something that happened today and uh, it surprises me just how, how um, sad I am about it. <laughs> I first want to mention that stamps went up and I did not know this and now I I'm gonna have to look at my records at home because I mailed a couple of packages last night and then I mailed some packages that would fit in the mailbox today not realizing that I was going to be making another trip and if I used any stamps that are not forever stamps then I won't have enough on those Packages. I shouldn't say packages. They're either flats or letters. And I did pay my two quarterly taxes. I'm a little bit behind on that because I didn't start early enough in the year, uh, which is okay. You don't get a penalty for paying prepaying late. Um, but those had to be forever stamps, so I should be good on that. But anyway, if you are one of my exclusive shoppers or you got something on eBay like a fabric panel, um, you might have the wrong postage on there. And please just pick it up and pay it. It would be a matter of a few cents instead of having it come all the way back to me. I mean, I would cer certainly send it back out and I'll even send you the extra money if you pay it. I just don't want you to have to wait for that. So if you get a notice saying that there's postage due, it should not be a lot. It should be just some change. You know? <laughs> so, But I feel really bad. You know, it's funny. I've been with uh, the post office using their click and ship, you know, their postage program that they have since it started. And it they didn't have that right when I started selling on eBay back in 2000, but it wasn't too long after that that they started doing that. You would think that they could send an email out to all their, um, I, am I a customer? I guess, I don't know, but I have an account with them. It would be pretty easy to send an email to everybody just to say, you know, heads up, postage is going up. Now, that doesn't affect my packages because things like PayPal and eBay, if you ship through them for packages, uh, when those go up, that's automatically adjusted by them. But anyway, I just thought I'd mention that in case you didn't know. Uh, first class stamp, one ounce letter stamp is uh, 58 cents now instead of 55 and like the two ounce stamp that is 75 is now 78. So I don't know, like I said, I'll just hope that they, you know, just let things go through. And I even brought what is considered a letter, even though it's a six by nine manila envelope, but it can't be more than a quarter of an inch. So for the heck of it, I considered it a letter. For the heck of it, I said, is this too thick to be a letter? The next step up is called a flat. And he puts it through the thing and it goes through, but it's a little bit snug in the center, little tiny bit. He goes, I don't know. He goes, if I were you to be on the safe side, I would add more to this. And I'm thinking to myself, you're the fucking post office. I should be able to ask you, is this letter or is it flat? Do I have to add more postage? He's telling me to be on the safe side. Maybe I should put another stamp of like another stamp. Well, we need to know what stamp. I want to make sure it's enough, you know, and but it's a good thing that I did that because that's how I learned that the shipping went up for first class. So, um, <laughs> he goes, well, he goes, I don't know. He goes, let's see how much it weighs and we'll figure it out. And he, and he goes, yeah, okay, it would have been this and this. And he said, so you could just put another stamp. And I said, I owe you 58 cents, right? And he goes, right. I said, can I just, can I pay you 58 cents? I don't know why he kept saying another stamp. The stamp I had on there was 78 cents. Did he want me to put another one of those? Anyway, I just think it's funny that I go to a post office and ask how much for this piece of shit mail. I don't know if I were you to be on the safe side, I'd add another stamp. 
Okay, so I so I paid extra that I probably didn't have to pay, but I just don't want something coming back like that. Um, all right, so that's my post office story, which just happened. Oh, I'm in the parking lot at Shaw's supermarket because I went to Dollar Tree to pick up a bunch of shit for my mama tomorrow because I'm visiting her, and usually I have to shop for her like every two weeks, her little mini candy bars, the fun size, and uh, I can't get her box of chocolates anymore that she liked. Just different things. She's got these peppermint sticks that she likes. I got her two kinds of cookies, figs, Fig Newtons, knockoff brand, and um, these little ones that come wrapped. There's like four in each, and there's eight packs for a dollar. These are different than the ones they used to have. They're raspberry cream filled. No, I should take that back. There's raspberry flavor. They're yogurt cream filled, and she really likes them. And she has a hard time opening little packets like that, even though she has scissors. So I take those out and I have these little round containers from Dollar Tree with a little cover. And I put the little round cookies in that. They fit perfectly. All right. So I went to uh, the dentist today to have my teeth cleaned. First, how did my day start out? Didn't it start out funky? I can't remember. Didn't something go wrong this morning? I don't know. Anyway, I um, had my teeth cleaned, and they're going to be a little sore, my jaw too, and uh, they if there's any yellow or stuff, they do a floss. Jeez, I can't talk today. My brain is fried. They do a fluoride thing that they paint stuff on, and it's kind of thick and sticky and tastes pretty good. So my thing was, I was going to go there and have my teeth cleaned, and then I was going to go to the little meat market that I go to. Um, and since I'm just going to, most of you know the name of it, but I'm not going to say the name of it because I'm going to say something about today that I didn't like. I wanted to go pick up some steaks and a gallon of milk. And I went in, and I was so happy. Oh, Mondays is when they have ham at $2.99 per pound and usually they have a whole bunch already packaged and they didn't so I said do you mind um, slicing some and I was kind of glad in a way because they slice it kind of thick and I just want it thin sometimes I just like to eat some rolled slices of ham and I asked for four pounds because I freeze it and they do it separate and they freeze it, I freeze it, so I have it, and I don't have to make sure I get there every time. It's a Monday to, to stock up. And he's like, sure. And so I said, I'm just gonna walk around. So I was looking at stuff for my mother. They had some cream cream horns, and I was gonna get her some of those, and I picked up my milk, and you know, I'm just moseying along. And then I go back, and I see that he's cutting the ham, and he wasn't wearing any gloves. He was touching my ham. I'm not one to be totally freaked out by germs and things like that. In fact, I know for a fact that there's so many things that we consume that has been touched by hands where somebody went to the bathroom and they did not wash their hands. I mean, that, that happens. Common sense says that happens. And it has nothing to do with COVID about him not wearing gloves. It was the fact that he was touching my ham <laughs> with a hand that could have shit on it. <laughs> so, I got so grossed out and I was mad at myself that I saw that. I wish I wouldn't have seen that. I would have not thought twice. He would have handed me those packages of ham and I would have gone home with them and been a happy camper. And I also had some Hamburg in my carriage and uh, some steaks, New York sirloin that I was so excited about. And I could not bring myself to say anything to him. But I was starting to like really just be so worried because I, I did not want the ham. Because I saw that ham, uh, I didn't want it. I thought that most places 
put those cheap plastic gloves on. I mean, it's an easy thing to do, even if he didn't just go to the bathroom. I mean, he's touching other things, you know? And again, I'm not overly concerned because we do eat stuff that's not always, you know, it can be contaminated with something. And then also he didn't have a mask on, which again, not to do with COVID, but to me, if you're around food, I don't know. I don't think places wear masks for food, but you're touching my fucking ham with your hand. I didn't like that. So he gave me the ham and I felt so bad because I knew I was going to go up front. It's a small store. So there's just one other person in there and I was going to have to tell her that I, that I couldn't take the ham and uh i felt so bad that he was going to know that and I, it's not i don't want to get him in trouble i just couldn't bring myself to buy the ham and i didn't want to just like leave it somewhere and i knew if i say something that means i'm done shopping here because i will never want to go back in because i will feel so bad that i did that and i also knew I have to leave everything here because once I say to her, I can't take this ham, I, I'm just going to want to run out the store. So <sighs> she sees that I'm going to the register. So she comes up and I told her, I said, he, he wasn't wearing gloves. And I says, I feel, you know, uncomfortable. The fact that he was touching my ham. <laughs> She's like, Oh, you got four pounds? She goes, okay, I'll, I'll go get more. And I said, no. I, I said, I no, I said, I, I'm just, I'm leaving now. I said, I'm not going to take any of this. And I, you know, I told her, I said, I'm, I'm sorry. I felt bad. And I left and I cried the whole way home, the whole way home. Because I, I felt bad about the whole thing. And I was so mad that I, even had to see that. Why couldn't I have just walked around the store a little bit longer? I know I would have left and I would have had some ham. <laughs> now, it doesn't gross me out as much if it would have been the hamburger. But when I looked at the hamburger, there was a hamburger. What do you guys say? Hamburger meat? We call it Hamburg. Um, when I looked at that, I was like, somebody's hands without gloves could have touched that too. And so, you know, I knew I, I didn't want it. I didn't want my steak. I didn't want anything. But at least that stuff's getting cooked. So I don't care as much. But the ham, that's not getting cooked. I'm going to roll that up and be like, huh? At least, you know, I touch it with my hands. But they're my hands. <laughs> I know where my hands have been and if they're clean or not. So that was my little story. And I just, uh, I felt bad. And it's funny because the minute I walked in, Derek called, and I was so like, hi. And, and I had to explain to him, I'm like, I, I'm just, I'm sad because I couldn't get my ham because the guy wasn't wearing gloves. Oh my God, I know. But I know a lot of people who are grossed out by things like that. And when I was a kid, we went to this pizza place after church on a Sunday and um, it was it was hot. And I don't know if anybody had air conditioners back then. And the guy, and I told Derek this story today, uh, and I saw it, my mother saw it, my father saw it. I was too young to realize my mother was absolutely devastated my father didn't care but the guy was sweating and it was dripping off his face onto the pizza <laughs> my mother said we have to leave she says i'm not getting that pizza and my father's like it's all right it's gonna be cooked my father could eat just about anything but they, we did leave i remember that we left and my mother never in her entire life ever had pizza from that place again I don't care how many times it changed hands she didn't have pizza she just never forgot it and uh you know that is that is pretty gross sweating sweating onto somebody's pizza the thing is is that it's not smart you know it's like don't people realize some people just don't have common sense you know yeah it's just you don't sweat on somebody's pizza while they're standing right there if you're going to be sweaty and hot do the pizza making around the corner <laughs> you know? 
What a screen between you and the customers. So that's my story, and I'm hamless, and uh, I'm sad because I'm going to miss that. But in the way, I was kind of like, you know, I need to get away from doing the sandwich meat. It's just got some, you know, stuff in it, and it's just not clean like beef. You know, I, I like to, beef is my jam. I like my beef. But uh, now I can't even get my steaks there. I don't know. Maybe I would go in again, but it's, it's almost always that woman at the register, and I just feel bad. I feel bad. I just feel bad. And then I thought, what if he was wearing gloves before but had just taken them off? And then I thought, I don't know. Do you take your gloves off in the middle of the process? So I just feel bad. And that's it. I, um, oh, I appreciate everyone who joined Derek's Facebook group. He is like so excited that at the time that I talked to him this afternoon, there was well over 300 uh, members and you can join if you want. I'll probably leave the link to that in the description down below my video for a little while. I didn't post a picture yet today. I should do that if not for sure tomorrow. Now I showed one of Derek's hair but I found one of me. 1980s. 1980s. Big hair and uh, different color. So I will uh, probably post that one because I told everyone that, you know, I'm going to be posting pictures and some of even me or me and him when he was young. And you guys will see that I, I had a lot of different looks through the years. I don't know how many I'm going to be posting. I can only do it as long as I feel okay about it. If I start to feel weird about it, sad, you know, don't want memories, then I'm just not going to do it. And all those pictures that I have will just go with me or they will just get thrown out without looking at them which is what I should do I haven't looked at them in all these years some of those pictures Derek is like six seven eight years old I haven't looked at these pictures for years I should just toss them I should and I used to be so good about albums I would you know have them dated on the side so we knew everything but then I guess it just got I got tired of doing that and just stopped. All right, you guys, that is it. Thank you for hanging out with me for a little bit, and I will be back with more soon. Bye.